Welcome! In this part of the video training, we're going to look at some very basic stuff. Um, we're going to look at what is a link, what is a nofollow link, what is a follow link, how does a link look like in the source code of a website, and why is it good to have uh, links actually. So let's start. The uh, first thing we're going to look at is um, what is a link. Um, a link is simply um, uh, uh, you're referring to another website or another part of your website. That means, for example, you write some piece of content and you uh, link certain words or images or videos or whatever. You can link them to uh, another website. So if the users click on that link, they're going to be um, referred or they're going to go to another website. Um, it's also possible that you link it internally. That means if you, for example, have the content on your start page and you link it um, to some sub page of your own website, that would be an internal link. So why is it good to have um, many links? Um, it's like the, the soul, you can say, of the page rank algorithm, algorithm from Google. Uh, that means um, if you have got a lot of links, then um, it looks like you are really uh, trustworth and you know what you're talking about. Um, so these days it's not so easy anymore. It's also about the quality and the power of the links. But uh, basically, if you have got loads of links pointing to your website, loads of external links from high quality websites, pointing to you that helps you ranking because in the eyes of Google that's a very positive sign and that will help you to rank higher. So if we look at the types of links you're gonna see uh, there are external links that means you could link outside or you could get a link from outside. So um, it's different websites linking to each other basically. And the second uh, type of links are the internal links. So like we said before, you could be linking from um, your start page, for example, to another sub page of your website. That's an internal link. These are the two types of links that are existing. Next thing um, we're going to look at is the no follow tag, actually. So if you place a regular link, um, if you're just um, using like WordPress, most of the people are using WordPress or other CMS systems. So if you, for example, um, set a standard link in WordPress, the link will automatically be a follow link. So if you don't touch the link, basically, if you don't modify it, the link will be a follow link. What does it mean, a follow link? A follow link means that the search engine uh, will find if the search engine finds the link. So the search engine will crawl the web. Um, if the search engine will find this link, uh, the search engines will follow the link. That's why it's called a follow link. And then there's a tag you can set actually. It's called the no follow tag. So if you have a link, then it's possible that you use the no follow tag like you see in this example. Um, that would be like a sign-in link. Um, if you put the nofollow tag on the sign-in link, the search engine will not follow that link. Um, you also have to know that the nofollow link will not pass any link juice. So you should be quite careful um, looking at when you're using um, follow links and we, when you're using nofollow links. Um, it's very important to uh, make sure that the link juice is flowing to the right sections of your website. If you're using no follow internally, you won't pass any link juice. So a no follow tag will not submit any link juice internally or also externally. So let's look how the source code looks like of a website. That's actually an example of a regular follow link. If you look at the source code, you can do that by pressing the right mouse button and um, uh, um, 
and going to source code, view source code or view source, um, then you're going to see something like that. So um, if you see that red marked part, that's the link. And as you can see, nowhere is a no follow tag attribute. So that's a regular follow link and that will pass link choose.